What's good, everybody? Pangor321 here. Um, long time no see. It's been a hot minute since I've done a video here. Um, main reason for that, I just really haven't been playing a lot of cards. I think for some of you that have been tuning in, they may know me around the Midwest. You might know I've been playing like Pokemon Go. I've been doing all these other games. Um, I've been doing a lot more like family stuff just at home. I haven't really been going like regional to regional like I've been doing. So that's one of the reasons that you've seen a lot of my videos just kind of shut off. Like I was doing deck profiles for a while where I was recording friends of mine that were going to different regionals or YCS events and doing well at those. And I, you know, a lot of those videos just, they didn't really stick. Cause like, I just wasn't in the format. If that makes sense. Like I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't really act like I couldn't, the interviews just weren't really good. The deck profiles weren't very like descriptive, at least as far as like, I would like it. Um, going forward, I have been kind of getting back into the game. Um, at least as far as just getting cards and kind of playing with the master format, you know, before this whole pandemic that we've been dealing with, um, before the format officially shut down, I did have Shadol Invoked built. I was playing that at locals. I managed to play that at one locals before everything shut down. Um, but that was fun. That was cool. Um, I'm still kind of new to the whole like Link era. Um, for now, I'm going, I did pick up a box of Eternity Code today because I wanted to catch up on some Lost Art stuff. So I thought I'd open this box up. I want to start doing some kind of regular content. Um, another thing I've been doing, I've got some GOAT format stuff built. If anyone, for any content that anybody wants to see me do in the future, just kind of throw some comments down there. Um, if you guys would be down into like some GOAT format, dual videos, some GOAT format, deck profiles, what have you for GOAT format. If you really just want to stick to master format, let me know if there's any speed duels players that would benefit from my input on that format i could i not too relevant past the second set that they have but i'm sure it wouldn't take a lot of research to really you know nail that format down or even just put a few decks together i wouldn't mind doing that if that's something that people would want to watch um just let me know what you guys kind of want to see um still kind of just kind of getting a grasp for just what i'm going to do especially if the formats aren't opening up i can't just go to locals because my local shop isn't doing tournaments yet um, I could open products if there's any product you want to see open. If there's any OCG openings, I could look into seeing what those costs would be, um, depending what you would want to see opened. But just go ahead and throw comments down there for just suggestions. I want to start making content again. I could also, I've thought about um, trying streams out. I've considered doing that. I play a lot of dual links. Um, I specifically, I play a lot of like OSRS, old school RuneScape. I don't know if anyone in this Yu-Gi-Oh section would really want to be watching like old school RuneScape. If that's something that you would mess with, I mean, I could stream that. I could try to figure out how to get that going. Um, but yeah, like I play Duel Links, play a lot of Duel Links. I've been doing a lot of the KC Grant, um, Grand Tournament that's been going on recently. I've been doing a lot of that for like stage two. If anybody would want to see a stream of that, maybe I can get that going. Just, like I said, throw it down in the comments. Let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm looking to do. So just let me know. Um, let's get this box open. See what we got here. Um, I already got a link Ross from some lo some loose packs that I had picked up. This box is not going to open right. Um, otherwise, just really looking for the secrets. Looking for I can't think of what, it, what he's called. I'm still so out of touch from just like what the actual names are. Um, it's like X. It doesn't matter. But when we get it, we'll see it. Obviously, we're looking for like Starlight Rares too. Would also be nice. Um, it would be a very nice thing to get a Starlight Rare. That is Medulce Promenade. Super rare. Trying to, my camera kind of pooped out on me, so I'm kind of stuck doing it on the computer is why I'm doing it in this method. I'd usually have like a tripod set up, have different things working out, but this is just kind of the way I've got to record this for right now. Otherwise, it's just, I wouldn't have a video. So bear with me while I go with it. Burning draw. Mainly just looking for like excess code talker. It's the secret that we're looking for, the link monster. That would be ideal, obviously. But we'll see what we get. Another Ultra, um, Arc Nemesis Protos. That's cool, I'm not sure what he does. He looks really cool. Worm Monster. 
Um, cannot be normal summon or set. Must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing three monsters with different attributes from your graveyard and or face-up field. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can declare one monster attribute on the field. Destroy all monsters on the field with that attribute. Also, until the end of your next turn, neither player can special summon monsters with that attribute. You can only use this effect of Arch Nemesis Protoss once per turn. That's kind of cute. That is the second Ultra out of the way. Cool if we can get the Link Ross in this, just to get another one. I wouldn't hate to have another one, especially with that ban list. Um, let me know what you guys think of the TCG ban list. For those that saw the OCG ban list, let me know what you think of just how different that is. If they're trying to like market the TCG since they haven't really gotten to sell a whole lot yet there or not. If that's the reason. Gusari at Ignister. It's kind of a little disappointed. I was hoping to see a little bit more. Like I've heard a little bit of like Block Dragon and the decks that have been involved in that. And just things just not like it's just I like that the only thing they did was they put the three cards to unlimited and that's all they did to change it. And now we're just stuck until September with a format that you guys have essentially been playing with for forever. There's that another super valiant shark lancer. Probably after this pack, I'll probably stop showing the commons on screen just to make things go a little faster. Right to it, Ancient Warriors, um, Ingenious Zug Kong, Secret Chamber Dragon Maid, there we go, another Dragon Maid, that's cool, that's not a bad one, really love to get one of those Starlight Rares, if we get one of those pretty ones, that'd be really cool to get, <laughs> I don't even know if I would keep it if I got it, but it'd be cool just to see in person, um, super... Thunder Patrol par parody? Party. Party. Like the pirates par party. That's cute. Um, next pack. We've got another secret. Ghost Mourner. There we go. There's a good one. We'll take that. We'll take that. Anytime. Ghost Mourner and Moolit Chill. That is definitely one to get. Nice. I'll take that. I'll take that. So we've gotten so far two secrets and two ultras. We're looking at Gachiri at Ignister for the next pack. Ancient Warriors, Ambitious Cowday. Um, Har Generator, Boss of Storms. Area, the Water Charmer. Ultra Ravenous Croco Dragon. He's an awesome looking thing. There we go. Link Ross. There's the good Ultra. There we go. It's not so bad so far. It's going pretty good. So for foils that aren't super rares, so far we've got the Dragon Mage Xiao, Arc Nemesis Protos, the Chamber Dragon Maid, Secret, Ghost Mourner, there's a good one. Link Ross and the Croco Dragon. Probably just keep those up there so I can keep those separated from like the supers. Um, what do you guys think for with this new set, all the rares being taken out? What do you guys think of the rares being taken out? I think that's pretty. I think it was about time that they did it. I think it's kind of cool. It just kind of just makes it where the supers are like getting a rare out of a pack and the altars are like getting like a real foil. I think it's kind of cool in theory. I like that they're with like with the Toon Chaos set coming out soon. They'll be doing different things with the rares, which is really cool. And then for those that saw the um, 
gold series reveal today with how they're going to be doing the premium golds, but also doing like gold lettered rares also in the set. I think that's pretty cool. They're just like, instead of just doing the same old, same old silver rares, they're kind of innovating new ways to redo that rarity, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, witchcraft unveiling. Uh, Nemesis Corridor. There you go. New invoked. Agudez? That's how it's pronounced. That's a cool one to get. At least for a super, it's a cool one to get. I think that was the first of that I've gotten out of the supers, to be honest. Uh, Gusari at Ignister. Winding down to the last two in the box. This is it. Are we going to get the Starlight or no? Are we going to get it? One could help, right? <laughs> One out of every two cases, I think it is. Here we go. Nemesis Umbrella. Where are we at so far? Last pack. So far we are at... Four Ultras. So really we've got, unless it's a Starlight chilling in this pack right here, I think we've got pretty much the ratios that we're looking for. Unless we got like one extra Ultra or something. We'll see. Last pack. There. Is it? And we've got Void Apocalypse. That's it for the box. Um, supers, we got Void Apocalypse, Invoked, Agudez. I'm glad we got at least one of those. It must be one per box, I guess. Might be what the short print on that might be. Um, Nemesis, Umbrella. Useri, Adagnister. Nemesis, Corridor. Witchcrafter, Unveiling. Witchcrafter, Patronus. Armored Bitron area. A hard generator boss of storms. Ancient warrior guy. Gachiri at Ignister. Plunder Patrol Party. Another ancient warrior guy. Valiant Shark Lancer. And Gusari Ignister. That's it for the supers. Like I had shown with the Ultras already a couple times. We got the Dragon Maid Shao. Kind of got... I mean, we got a couple of the good Dragon Maids in the box, which is really cool. We got the coveted Link Ross. This guy. <laughs> the guy that didn't get banned in the TCG. We got Link Ross. Um, Ravenous Croco Dragon Arcathus. Um, Arc Nemesis Protos. We got our Ghost Mourner. So first one of that, which is really cool. That was a good one to get. Excited for that. I'm gonna have to pick up more of that though. And then Chamber Dragon Maid to finish that off. So yeah, that's the box. It's just kinda it's cool to get a video uploaded that I haven't done in forever. I'm sorry that it had to be in this kind of format. I would have loved to have angled things differently and had things recorded in a better manner, but you know, sometimes things just can't be helped, and I'm hoping that I get my battery problem fixed with my camera by the next time I upload a video. But like I said, just throw down in the comments um, anything that you guys would want to watch. If you'd want to look into like goat format, if you want to look into things that aren't just goat control, even like empty jar, um, some of the beast decks that kind of float around that format, warrior toolbox, anything have you. If those are videos that would interest you, throw down in the comments. Let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of play it by ear and just kind of see what people like. Would love to hear some feedback from that. Um, I don't have a lot else, but I will catch you guys in the next video. See you next time.